Hello YouTube and in this video I'm showing you how to make a jet engine out of a vacuum cleaner. Okay. So so far what I've done is I've taken apart the vacuum cleaner. I removed the because I did this I wasn't filming it well. So there's no video before this one showing some stuff I did. So I just took out the electromagnet that was inside there and then I couldn't remove this one that it rotates and then you know you can see that where the brushes go and then i'm gonna use this this is gonna house the combustion chamber but i was gonna make it the combustion chamber but the holes are a bit random and crazy i want to drill my own holes you know I was, uh, anyway so i'm just gonna use this as the turbine you'll find um these type of vacuum cleaners this is a king clean vacuum cleaner a kacha you know Anyway, so you can see the impeller there, and I had to block these vents because I did not the air just bleeding out the sides. I wanted it to, you know, to direct, to come up this way. And you'll notice on these, this isn't plastic, so be careful when you're drilling these holes. You can make bigger ones, you know. It goes, it goes right round, you know, taking the um, impellers, uh, what, the air. Instead of, I had to block the, the, these vents, so instead of the air just bleeding out. It goes through these holes going up upwards. Then this is just from a, what you call it old D coffee container. You can see I cut the shape so that they can correspond, they can match, you know. So this one's a bean can and then this is a coffee tin. Actually got a huge cut because I wanted you know, because when I tested it before, I tried to test it, I didn't have what you call it. I, I tried to make a, a fuel gauge, but I'll make an even better one using this. This isn't wire, this is tubing. You know? It's like from off of an old truck. Oil. Okay. Uh, I was gonna use this. I was gonna use this as my uh, fuel. In it's also like a pipe, like a valve on there, but it's it doesn't go right around the inside the combustion chamber. So this is gonna be my combustion chamber, and you can see this. I cut out this deodorant can. I can't really move it. But you can see it's a deodorant can. It protects, it will protect the, um, this so it doesn't burn, the, what you call it, stator. So what I did was, I this is a, also a coffee tin. I had cut out the, the, the remains, the bottom, so that, um, and then I folded them inwards, so, so that the um, deodorant can can fit, you know, you can see it folded inwards. Some parts it's not perfect, you know, it's a bit, you can get it on the camera. So this will go over like that, and then correspond to the four holes. And then I will drill holes, holes, so that the air can bleed into the combustion chamber. And then from the top, I'll put my um, inside, you can see, it's a nice space. I actually like it, because when I tried to test the engine without this combustion chamber, and I said this as the combustion chamber, it wasn't good enough, because it, you know, it had too much space between this uh, deodorant can and the I want to have it limited space so that it's, you know, pressure. And also, this coffee can actually corresponds, corresponds. it um, aligns with the um, coffee can. I'm calling it the bean can. So that, th this and the bean can is the um, exhaust. It will be like something like that. Almost. They align, they're like the same diameter. So, I mean, it does look pretty because you know, I just cut that open with my Dremel, you know, quickly. So, the next thing I'm going to do is draw holes in the sides. Just now. Oh, yeah, and one thing I forgot to mention this comes with the vacuum cleaner. It's actually, you know, a fan that blows air um, onto the, what you call it, back onto the motor when it's, you know, rotating. So, now I have to flip the um, twist them the other way. They were slanted this way. So I had to tilt them the other way. like but it's, So that when it's spinning, when the peeler is spinning, um, in this guy, when it's spinning clockwise, or anti, actually, yeah, clockwise, the, this fan will be blowing upward, you know, away, instead of blowing back into the engine, like what it did before. It actually had a plastic, you'll find um, I removed it. The plastic um, thing that would go around the fan, you know, and, and this was on top of this. 
and I removed the plastic with this, this will melt. It holds the ball bearing, that ball bearing, to the out, outer ring inside here. So I had to remove it with the melt. So it, how it fits together is this will be like that. Oh wait, actually, to tell the truth, this will be like this, and this goes over like that. And then actually I'll have to cut it, it's a bit too high. It's not fitting down snug, the screw, you know. I'll have to cut the cams of it. It's like this, I, can I cut this beam cam? The scissors, you know, going around. And then it'll fit over like that. Yeah, yeah. that's the genius. And then when it's when this is over, I'll put the, um, when this is on top of this, I'll put the fan on top of this. I was going to use this one, but its threads are finished inside this. It's, so I'm going to have to use this new one. Yeah. And then hopefully I'll have a video of a test. I could put both of them, but there's not enough space for both turbines. There's not enough space for that. So yeah. And the Kwanda effect will pull that hot air and those gases towards the center so that, you know, I get more of that action when, it's, when the turbine's going round. Anyway, so then I will continue after I drill those holes. So I just marked it off with a magic marker, you know, a mighty marker, if you want to call it. Yeah. And then um, I just marked 16 holes on the top. And I'm going to make them of this diameter, this size. I don't really have an example of the size of that drill bit, but it's the one that comes with the Gemma 4000 in that small case. So I'll just use that and I'll drill and I'll get back. So, oh yeah, the plan is I want to drill. I was supposed to drill 18, but when I was marking, I just realized 16 is better. So it'll be 16 on the top, and then somewhere about this midpoint here, I'll put 5. There'll be slightly wider diameter. I'll have to use that drill bit, you know, going around in circles to try and make it wider. And then there'll be even wider, and uh, uh, five again, five holes all around. Anyway, so then, and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so I'm done drilling the holes. I had to go and off some of the, what you call them, the markings that I had. So I'm just going to use a little bit of this deodorant to use its alcohol because I have nothing else to clean spray a little bit of it on a cloth and just you know go around removing that removing that uh, mighty marker those marks okay so after I just sprayed a little deodorant and used a cloth or a piece of paper to some of it was not perfect some of the places it clean some or not and I went ahead and I marked off the five holes I need I mean slightly larger diameter holes. How I did this was I took um, some of the Dremel bits, these ones, and then I stuck them inside the holes. So I don't know if you can see, these ones are not aligned to the holes because they 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 needed to make a perfect five hole, you know. So I got five like right round. So I had to stick one in and then and then mark where it was. Then I would stick them inside and look inside and see make a star shape you know and see how and the to make a perfect like five holes so then stars five sided so you know you can find another way if you want like you can't really skip holes or anything isn't it 16 holes so you won't get an even I trick you use like by eye Anyway, so I'm just going to drill these holes and make them larger and then continue after that. So then I made those other holes which I marked out larger. Yep. And um, one thing I have, you have to use this kind of a drill bit, I don't know, for cutting, but it made it black and it burnt a hole through my trousers. Oh, uh, yeah. Anyway, so then uh, the next thing to do, once this is done, is to start working. Well, I will finish. You can see it's got cuttings, like it's rough. I'll finish it in the inside, like just for fun, because you know I want it to be perfect. And then the next thing I do is I will twist this into the right shape that can fit around this can. You can see it's a 
to what type of it didn't even look at what type of deals it was and I just cut it open, you know. But sports is sports you know, for men. Deodorant. But you can see it's shape, what you need. Not like something funny like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And note that when it goes over this, it does not touch the, what you call it, these. You can see, I can spin it and then I can put it on. Because it's, it's wider than that. They're not supposed to touch. It just protects that and also creates a smoother finish. Um, so that the whole ma the magic can happen. So all of these, twist this round, drill holes into it, twist it around the can, oh, and we dropped it. And then fit the can, fit it in the combustion chamber and fit it over. So that's it, that's my combustion chamber done. It's also have the can inside of it and fit over like that. It won't touch the carbon graphite because they can get damaged by this. It will um, touch how the can it goes on the four pedestals for mounting those holes on anyway. So then I'll draw the holes in the thing just now, in the pipe, and then I will um, also fit it all together and then it will be done. Also, I need to fit in a small spark plug, which I'll make from uh, a broken fuse, just a bolt through the middle. And then I have uh, what do you call it? a coil, which I'll use 12 volts to power, that will create the spark which has been needed to ignite, to light this candle. Okay. Okay, after a long, grueling time, now, you would know because it was paused all this time. So all I have to do is just hammer shut this side. I've drilled all the holes. I don't know if you can see them properly. Not really. And then I've cleanly cut this side, you know. Made sure that it's open to each hole. Not, not obstructed. And I'm thinking about fitting this piece that was off the old um, funny fuel ex ejection tube onto the front. It can't really go inside of this pipe, but I know the pipe can go inside of this bit. So I'll have to drill it open, you know, and free it a little bit. And then after that, it'll fit over the can and then it will distribute. At least it's right around the ejection. So this one didn't go right around. So where does this one go? In the trash box. Yeah, in the trash box. That's where it goes. So then, let me just quickly assemble it. Because I have to do it paused, you know. Can't really be holding this phone anyway. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, so I flattened that in to block it, made it, it fits with this perfectly. All I got to do is put it together and have a video of its test. It was just a review of this engine and the completion of the combustion chamber and the fuel injector. Thanks for watching.